Start your game development journey in your mobile with this step-by-step -step course. We'll be creating this amazing game using the Dodge Mobile, in which the player has to dodge some enemies. It seems quite simple, but anyway, you'll learn a lot. This video is just one part of the full course, but you can find the full course in the description down below. Let's start. So, the first thing you're gonna do is actually look for Good Dodge in your Play Store. As you can see, you're gonna find both versions. 3 and 4. For this course, we're gonna be using the Toad Editor 4, but you should also be able to use the third version, okay? So you just click right here the version you want to install, click install, wait a couple of seconds, and that's it. As you can see here, I have installed the fourth version. Then what you're gonna do is to go to the first link in the description and you're gonna download the assets pack uh, for the game so you just download it and wait a couple of seconds now in good job, um we're gonna create a new project in this case i'm gonna name it tutorial 2d and you're gonna select a project path in my case i'm just gonna leave uh, the default path well not actually i'm gonna change it uh, to the downloads path right here but you can select any path you want and there I'm gonna create a new folder now I'm gonna click create and edit and we'll have to wait a couple of seconds okay once our project is created we are gonna open our zip file that I uh, give you the link in the description and we are gonna extract okay all the assets so this is gonna give us uh, as you can see these two folders which are the fonts are on the art so we are gonna select them both click here move and we're gonna move uh, both folders to our uh, project folder in this case as you can see it's right here in my download tutorial 2d and we just move them here finally we come back to good Dote. Uh, if no change is made we are gonna close the application okay and now we are gonna open it again and well now as you can see here in our file system we can see the art which are the png files the images and we can also see uh, the fonts okay now we are gonna adjust the viewport width and height so uh, we're gonna go to project project settings then here we're gonna scroll down until we see this option display window and uh, these are the dimensions we should use, which are 4,080, uh, 480, sorry, and 720, okay? Then in the stretch mode, we're gonna set to viewport, sorry, mode uh, to canvas items. Now let's create our player scene. In order to do this, uh, we're gonna create a, a new scene and well our root node in this case is gonna be an area 2d okay like this remember that if this yellow overlay appear uh, you can just click here on the add icon and that should disappear so with this area 2d we can detect objects that overlap or run into our player now we are gonna rename uh, this node to player like this once we have renamed it we're gonna just save our scene okay like this now in our player we're gonna add another node in this case it's gonna be animated sprite to the this one okay and okay, the animated sprite to the will handle the appearance and animations for our player. Okay, we can see that we are having this warning right here in our animated sprites. Also, we have this other in our player. But uh, one thing first is to in our uh, animated sprite, uh, in our animation and uh, in our sprite frames, we have to create a new sprite frames. Okay. This is a resource that is a list of animations that the player can display. Okay, so now if we click right here, uh, this new menu 
is gonna be opened. Now we are gonna create our walk animation. Um, so we are gonna rename this default one to walk right here, and here we will need uh, to drag and drop two images. Uh, remember that we have imported. Uh, our resources so here under our art you are gonna scroll down and find player gray up one and some other frames so we're gonna drag and drop here firstly player gray up one okay with with your uh, touch input would be exactly the same thing but then we're gonna make it with a walk one also okay now if we click here the uh, play icon as you can see, the animation starts playing. Okay, now here in this list, uh, we're also gonna click on this icon to create a new animation. And this other animation uh, is gonna give it the name of up. Now, uh, we're gonna drag and drop the corresponding animations to the up animation is gonna be up one and then up two. We can click also here play. Uh, so that we could preview our animation as you can see and also then in our walk animation we're gonna drag and drop walk one and then walk two also again if we play the animation as you can see we see the animation then we're gonna resize our uh, layer a little bit I'm gonna give it a scale of 0.5 in both axes. Finally, we are gonna add a collision shape to the to our player. Okay. And we are also gonna create here a shape of a capsule that I believe is gonna be the best one for this uh, shape. So with this uh, two orange or red dots we can drag and drop them uh, drag them and as you can see the shape is gonna be resized so let's do it as similar as possible uh, to the player i believe something like that would be just okay this will determine the player's hitbox or the bounce of its collision area when you are finished your player scene should look like this okay with a player an animated sprite and a collision shape Okay, and now we're just uh, gonna go to scene, save scene, and we should be okay with it. Thanks a lot for watching, remember to like and subscribe for more content. You have the link to watch the full course in the description down below. See you!